I want to say hello and welcome to everyone that's on my channel and here I will be showing what should be a lot more of interest to people especially in the archaeology and the ancient civilizations these kind of areas this should be a lot more important to them I feel and it's only as far as I know Michael Tellinger who is actually working on this and I just wanted to show you a bit of stone circles I have found myself just wanted to explore basically let's just jump into it right now so as you can see we're here in Africa and we're going to go down into South Africa so here we are and you can immediately see the, the intricacy and the scale of this. Here is all the pointers I have marked. And imagine this whole area just filled with this stuff. Right, so let's go back here. Let's just go to one of these red ones. So by the way, the red ones are very significant. The green ones lesser so, you know, clusters. And the yellow ones usually just single one or two circles by themselves so let's have a look here as you can see very intricate detail they seem to have something to do with energy so first i want to show you the scale of these things uh, here i am roughly 2.48 kilometers in the air and that is usually where you want to be to find these things let's look over here here we have a farm you can see it's quite a big piece of property and this is what I assume to be the house over here little lake over there and here's the road so you can imagine how big a car is on this road and let's just look at the scale of one of these circles it's at least twice as big as what looks to be a substantial house and there are some that's even much bigger than this so let's zoom in a little here. What you'll notice is among the circles you have these little spider web effects, uh, little pockets also. Now this may be from uh, deterioration but I don't think so. The other striking thing you have to see here is these channels very significant channels and they seem to be connecting to each other what could it have been used for well could well be energy the, the mainstream literally has nothing on this they say this is used for cattle or keeping sheep or whatever inside immediately what you can say against that is this has no doors literally walled off sections and as you can see they have little circles even inside of them so no, that's not what they are, obviously, but that's what the mainstream says. Uh, in a later video, I will show you actually examples of this. The, the real, uh, you know, shepherding or herding where they put animals in there. And you'll see it's totally different. But for today, as an introduction, I just wanted to show you a bit. This is, it's just amazing. I mean, what do we have here? And shouldn't this be more significant than any other, you know, for example, the, the Nazca lines or something? Because here we have so much evidence of this stuff. Just look over here. Amazing, amazing, and no one knows about it. Here you can see the very well-defined channels. And it's really just amazing. So another thing Michael said is like, these could have been used as amplifiers you know amplifying the energy out of the earth i'm looking for ideas so please do comment below if you know what this is or what it could be let's just uh, show a couple more examples and then i'll wrap it up it's just just fantastic so here's a little green area just a bit uh, deteriorated as you can see look at this these seem to be very well preserved and I would love to go over there and see this for myself so let's just zoom out a bit yeah. and here again you can see the scale 
here is a property and there is what seems to be the main house you can see this is at least can contain what five six seven of those houses in there so it's it's very large get a rough estimate a length of 57 meters so that's the diameter of that one that's all for today i thank you very much for joining if you like the video you know what to do Mm-hmm.